It's Flashback Fridays on Unexpectedly Random Live. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another round of Flashback Fridays here on Unexpectedly Random Live. How is everybody doing today? It is a fantastical Friday evening here. We've got lots of monkeys still to collect here on Ape Escape, so we're going to be continuing our adventure there. I do want to remind everybody that we do stream these videos live every Friday at 7 p.m. Central Time over at twitch.tv slash unexpectedlyrandom. That uh, URL is scrolling across the top of the uh, screen there in case you need spelling and that kind of stuff, because it's awesome. Uh, I also want to recommend that you follow us while you're over there on Twitch so we can send you a notification when we go live and also follow us on Facebook and Instagram where we post anytime there's a change to the listed streaming schedule, which thinking back now, I need to do some updating on that schedule. Um, otherwise, we are live Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. Central Time and Saturday and Sunday at 4. That schedule on Twitch will show you what games we are playing on what days. We also have a TikTok and a Twitter. If you're on those platforms and wish to follow us, that would be super cool. And I know looking off the side looks like I'm looking at some kind of a Q thing or not. There's really nothing there. <laughs> so let's get rolling here. Let me get my uh, light screen up here. Try and make this a little bit brighter. I've already got my room lights, studio lights here adjusted. So we should be good that way. Hopefully... My controller's not going to cause problems, which it might, because, I mean, that's what we do, is we have technical difficulty here. I was just looking back over the uh, highlight for last week's video, and uh, recalled that there were quite a few technical issues at the start of that, but hopefully not this time. So, let's get rolling. The DualShock analog controller is required to play this game. Or a comparable controller with two joysticks. Oh yeah, there's one, two things that I forgot to do. This one. And this one. <laughs> I've got to stop changing all my settings around between the different broadcasts. There we go. There's Spectre with his brain-enhancing helmet. You know, there's been a few times that it would have been nice to have a helmet to uh, enhance my brain. Especially, like, back in school when taking tests and stuff, you know? See, Spectre just uses it to take over the world. I just wanted to use it to get a nicer grade on my, my test. It's, it's really that simple. <laughs> Of course, as usual, let me know if the game audio is too loud or is um, not, if my my voiceover is not covering, or is not working, wor words, you know what I'm trying to say, so. Well, according to uh, that monitor there, it sounds fine, so let me know if you are hearing anything different. Whether you be out there during the live stream or if you're hearing it during the uh, thing. Give me just a second while this uh, do this thing. I need to... Mm -hmm. Do this number and... Hello, Kerhu! Welcome to the stream! We are ready to roll. And preliminarily speaking, I think our technical difficulties from last week are uh, absent. <laughs> yes, th there's the monkeys. All right, we are loading 
<laughs> All right. We'll get back in here. We're gonna work on catching monkeys and collect inspector coins as we roll through things. Do we... Oh, that's the first one. Okay. So we did get all the Spectre Coins all the way up to where we were at. Sweet! So... Dark Runes. How many monkeys are left? Wow! Seven more monkeys. There was a Spectre coin. Okay, so. Let's do some looking around. I'm probably going to end up uh, falling off of things or. dying a few times because. that too kind of brush up on the controls again. Um, let's see. We'll put the slingshot in here. We'll end up needing that radar, I'm sure, to, uh, find some of the monkeys. Well, that's one way to take care of that. There's lots of those flying bird-like creatures. That are kind of creepy, but also kind of uh, adorable. They sort of remind me of the... Uh, sort of remind me of the flying, air slurping monsters that you encounter on Gex 3D. You know, there's really no sense in taking the scenic route to go get this monkey. Hiya! Also, there's one of those, so we'll have to get that too. Hi, monkey! Haha! <laughs> Probably this way. This may be a climbing thing. Yep. Monkey radar. So there's a monkey that way, but it looks like he's in a different, he's through a different loading zone that way. If I remember the monkey radar correctly. So, go ahead and put my slingshot back here. And we'll go in this door. I think. Oh, wow. Got him! Spike, you know that you can use the D-pad to move the camera around, right? Yes. Yes, I do know that. So, there's another Spectre coin. We need to get that. Go ahead and... Oops. Monkey radar here so we can see. So we do have one in here. Dreams about being a star. Mav the monkey. Let's 
seems like just one in this loading zone, but uh... Okay, let's see what's gonna happen when I do this. We have to go over there, but uh, any explodey monster that I can get rid of before I have to interact with them is going to be a better situation for us. <laughs> Look at the, the little token down there on the bottom right that was kind of in the void, but still sitting there like there was a platform. I wonder if this is too steep for me to climb. That could be interesting. Okay, it looks like it's fine. We're gonna be alright. Sweet! Oops. Oh hey, there's our monkey, I think. That's convenient. He sounds a little twitchy. Oh yeah, he's uh he's a feisty monkey. Stand up and do the do the flip. <laughs> I love how they've got the drum track for the for the audio, the music, separate from the rest of it. So when you're sneaking, it it it's like it's quieter, simpler music. Okay. Yep, that was the only monkey in this region and that also indicates that there's no monkeys just outside of this loading zone so I'm gonna go back out here and then go the normal way around yeah there's a monkey probably one loading zone off from this one but it's not back in the doorway I was just in so we can uh, get out of here like this. And I also want to swap this back. It's just so much easier to uh, deal with things from long distance. birds that look like 3D Doritos. Okay, so... Oh, actually... We're still missing two Spectre Coins. So we'll have to keep an eye out for that. And let's go ahead and this on here to see which direction it's 
So there's one in here and one in there, so. So we're going in here. Ammo for, <laughs> for the slingshot. I hear the monkey making noise in here. I don't know if he's the fan monkey or if that's a different uh, thing that he's uh, making noise with. Spectre coin and a monkey. Come here, monkey. You're mine. <laughs> Shoot through that wall. Hello, monkey. Got it. Also, these 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 are going to attack me. That was so creepy. A t shirt down there. But, uh, and of course, by t shirt, I mean extra life, but it's down there. I see there's a doorway down there. We probably, probably will need to go down there at some point. But... Oh, okay. This takes us down to that slope we were just at. Ah, yes, we are going to go down. There we go. Oh, oh, okay. So I could have got that other monkey a lot sooner if I had just dropped down the hole in the ground. Fascinating. Yeah, this uh, hole there. So now that there's no monkey in there being a pain, I don't have to uh, worry about falling in that uh, pitfall trap. 
All right, we have all the monkeys from this loading zone. Let's try out here. Yeah, this is back up top. We're still missing three monkeys and one Spectre coin. Um, it sounds like there's not any monkeys out here. It's just across the loading zone area, so go ahead and push that down. And... Wow, that's creepy. Hi, monkey. Quite the, 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 the yeah. <laughs> it looks like it's something that could be broken, but apparently not. I would have expected there to be a uh, specter coin or something up here, but uh, it does not appear to be the case. So, going over here. See if we can. There's another one. Preemptively get rid of these uh, birds that are in the way. Moink. Felt like a good Spectre Coin location. Okay. So, our next monkey should be in here. Somewhere. Slippery fast runner. That's uh not great. So he he must be basically straight below me, and that's why it's uh triggering it all the way around. down here last time. So I really don't remember dealing with these monkey statues at all. Ah, Spectre Coin. I don't understand.
why it's uh, twisting my vision all the way around. I mean, I can do this, possibly. That's obviously not uh, what's going on there. I don't know what that's about. So I need to get that coin, but I want to break this monkey first. button he pressed, but I'm sure it's probably not a good one. I don't know. Platforms are back. I see. It was a uh, wait. What? Oh, <laughs> different area. So I understand the situation here. Basically, he's a fast runner, and uh, until we either catch him or stun him, we're going to basically keep chasing him around this circle for a very long time. Got him. <laughs> Problem solved. I should have left my car behind on that last one so I didn't have to do this again. Oh, it's not that bad. So I'm pretty sure this is where we need to go. Oh. 
Wait. What? This is a different area than that one place I saw at the start. Watch this TV and his goggles. Interesting. Okay. Well, we're still gonna go up here because it's obviously a new area. First, I'm gonna fall in the water because uh, I, was, I was getting a little warm. That thing's going to come to life and try and hurt me. There were far too many cookies on the ground. Oh, I see. There's a monkey sleeping in here. Gotcha. <laughs> I should use the radar and to uh, scan that monkey. It'll be interesting to see what it uh, said. Of course, it'll, it'll go into our little uh, thing. Um, it's like our our monkey encyclopedia. Ah, there's a neat little ledge here, so I don't. Uh, walk off without intending to. Oh. Wait, what? There was definitely a monkey just here. Just what? I've only got one more monkey. Sure enough, I guess it is him. Fascinating. And he's got goggles, so he's probably going to hurt me. Check and see how uh, how alert he was. Apparently, not too alert. Yes. <laughs> see, and that right there is the reason why I waited to. Uh, do this level. <laughs> that would have been a long time after at the end of the last one. You did it. All right. I I want to see if I can find that one that we just caught that was inside the the little tomb thing. 154 of 204 monkeys. Um, that would be probably this one. <laughs> Hula. Playing dead. Burnt. <laughs> Has too much fun to care. 
His short legs are speedy. Mushy. <laughs> These ones are exciting. They're the uh, very angry ones. So it looks like the next one we're gonna have three. Oh, we've got three. Three threes in a row. And we'll go ahead and save it just so we don't lose it. I don't really want to go through all that again. Yes. Yes. Return. And we did get all the spectre coins, so that's good. Oh, that's right, the last one was under the bridge. Cryptic relics. This one... This one looks... messy. Three monkeys, one coin. birds. Well, there's a monkey. Oh, that's right. A lot of the monkey-related stuff we get into now is going to be because they're behind uh, the punchy glove walls. Bonk. I know there's a bird circling out here. I think we're gonna go that way because I believe that's gonna get me up there. For Mr. Bonky there. Hey. And there's spiders. Pushy box. Push the box. Oh, I remember this very specific spot right here incredibly well. This is just memories. I love it. This angry red bird. It's fun because he's got nothing to land on. <laughs> I think this does a bridge. Maybe a temporary bridge, but we have this monkey over here. Make sure I'm not gonna get spidered. That uh, if you push the button, it opens up his door. Sneaky sneak up to the monkey. Slurp. Looks like this is not a temporary bridge, which is a good thing. Mm, I hear the ominous flapping of angry birds. Uh, I guess I'm gonna get them both. Pew! Bird things would be kind of uh, kind of fun as a plush. 
I bet I know somebody that could uh, make that happen, actually. Mm -hmm. All right. Monkey time. I'm here, monkey. Slurp. That's two of three. Suspicious. Oh, hold on. I wonder. I wonder. Can't get it from the sink. Watch me walk off the edge trying to. Uh, hitboxes, come on now. Hiya! Wow, that was almost real bad. It is the, the bridge. <laughs> That's awesome. It's really quite fascinating seeing how certain mechanics in games, well, older games like this, how they programmed them to work, and just like that, it's got the bridge already loaded in, and then you just click a button and it zooms it down. Um, we're going to go ahead and get the radar out and see where we need to go from here so I don't have to... So it's that indoor, so I don't have to deal with uh, Mr. Feisty Skinny Pants. Boink! <laughs> oh, that would that would explain it. Uh, well, I guess before we do that, let's go ahead and take a look. See where uh, Monkey Man's at. Oh, he's spineless and rootless. <laughs> Spanky. Spanky the monkey. Oops. Okay, swap this spot for some range. Also known as my spider squisher. It's a completely valid response, really. Shooting a spider with a slingshot. Hey, some places you can't get through. Oh. <laughs> Speed the camera turn with the L1 button. Once you learn the L1 back camera, you'll like it. Well, if I ever could figure out how to use it properly. Look, it's me. Get bonked. Hey, there's the Spectre Coin! And presumably the uh, route to our missing monkey. Ooh. Let's uh, take a peek. Oh, that's back outside. Hmm. No, wait, this is a different loading zone. That can't be back outside. That has to be already loaded in. Hmm. Oh, there's a switch here. Well, 
Well, that didn't open what I thought it did. Um, sir, sir, do you want to? You want to come over here? Over here. Yes, sir. Over here. Over here. <laughs> no way. Is he really going to... Please come over to the fence. This would make everything so much easier. I've already got my Spectre coin. So close. Finding doesn't allow him to come over here. Well, maybe he's scared. swimming this way. That's why I preemptively shoot these guys. The red ones have fire. Boink. 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 And that'll get us outside, which will get us around. So this is the right way to get to the monkey. As you clear the stages, go to the save area in the time station to save your place. After running around for an hour or two, don't forget to save and take a break. Don't overdo it and hurt yourself. So, uh... That's great, except, uh... You guys didn't let me know about this earlier, and so now I'm like 87 hours in. I haven't saved it all. <laughs> I'm only joking, of course, but... Ooh, that looks... Mm. Oh, that was so almost bad. So very almost bad. Hi, angry bird chicken thing. See how the drops are sitting in the void, but, uh, are not actually accessible. Ah, Mr. Monkey. I have some bad news for you, Monkey. Get caught! <laughs> I should have grabbed that uh, extra life above my head first. I want to know what love is. Wow. 
No, I want to know what percent we're at. I'm guessing it's probably 60, maybe? I don't know where we were last time. Yeah, probably close to 60. Maybe 59. 59.2. Look at that. Continue game. Alright. This is, uh, yes. This this one's gonna take several tries, I think. This is the race up. There's not actually any monkeys here, but there's a Spectre coin for completing it. Um, these head-to-head -head challenges with um, Jake, they're a little difficult compared to just running around and getting monkeys. I've been waiting. don't actually get any tools or anything. I lost. Oh, maybe not. You can do this without, uh, getting destroyed. I made it. Oh, yes! Wow. That was intense. I'll go up against you anytime you want. I don't know why there's five uh, Spectre Coins showing there. Two more coins. Oh, I guess there's a percentage shown here. Um, two more coins, and we'll have uh, we'll have the next thing unlocked. Well, that wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. If I have to time trial or beat it faster than a uh, certain time, I don't remember on that one, to be totally honest. Don't know. We have three monkeys here at Krabby Beach and a Spectre Coin. I think we'll go ahead and bring out the radar for this one. So there's none of them in this first zone. Gotta go through loading zone first.
Oh, this is this where one of them's on the on the boat that I can't reach without the propeller thing. There's apparently an uh, inside access to this location. Come down with the uh, stuff I had. Oh, wait, the third one's right here. So, where is my missing spectre coin? Have to come back and get the spectre coin later. So it's either somewhere that I already was at um, and got monkeys from previously, you did it. or it's down in that first area where the other tokens were that I was talking about. Not being sure if there was a spectre coin there or not. Because I didn't get any more. I thought there was, there was a slight possibility that I might have picked it up, like in one of the sand castles or something. And not realized it. And see, there's a difference between. between the completed ones and the not completed ones. I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think I can enter the stage as it is now if I don't hit the time attack button, and then there just won't be any monkeys there, but I can go in and I can find the spectre coin. There's Dexter's Island. We've got a uh, monkey in his uh, stomach to collect for sure. Coral Cave, we've got two, three. Three in Coral Cave. And one spectre coin. Ah, the sharks. I'm going for it. Well, there's one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
I don't think I can fly over there. So with that, we'll go here. That's that one. Puddles, he's bored out of his mind. Nogsy, Nogsage, five, five, six. Hey, welcome to the stream. Thank you for following. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I am one of my many talents is butchering everybody's uh, usernames. <laughs> so I do apologize if I pronounce it wrong. But I appreciate you hanging out all the same. <laughs> I don't think the uh, monkeys we're looking for are going to be on this side. Yeah, there's not any uh, indication that it's going to be over here. Come here. Boink! Haha! <laughs> Showing puddles. Yep. Okay, so let's see what we can do to mitigate puddles' boredom. I don't think we need to go up there. Oh yeah, I can rotate. Oh, that's right. I know how to get to him. There's a cave behind him that once we get past the sharks, there's a spot we can swim in. Because I remember to... I remember it, uh, going in there previously. Yeah, this might be bad. Dive! Dive! Please dive! Please dive. Don't get eaten by the shark. Kind of right. Point. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and switch this back out because it's easier to bonk the birds. Yeah, because we can get onto this platform and make Mr. Monkey paranoid and shoot at us because that's one thing he likes to do. Got him! Orange pants, a very fast gun, and he's a level 4 alert. Oh, and he tells lies for fun. Cool. And I believe those are our last two monkeys. So there's got to be a Spectre Coin in here somewhere. So, let's get this back here so I can keep the, those things at bay. Eesh. Point. <laughs> All right. Oh, should be able to get up there, or not? He's trying to shoot me. I guess maybe I can't get up there. 
Hop. So I'm gonna have to go around for that one. I'm not sure which round I'm gonna have to go, but uh Haha, <laughs> I got the spider though. This, uh, this seems safe. Eh, it's significantly less, uh, they're anchors. I thought they were, like, double axes. Oh, it's the... There's something making weird sounds, and it uh, is the thing below me. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't here, but UFO Monkey seems to be the only one that's in this zone, so we'll go ahead and Hiya! not go this way. So the other grumpy monkey must be accessible from this side, which means there's probably more spiders. Oh, there's the Mr. Tells Lies for Fun. Oh, that's right. I didn't go any farther than than this one right here because there is a monkey in there and I uh, broke him and took the monkey. Boink. 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 Just a matter of time until he uh, ran into the net. I got it! The monkeys in red pants are strong attackers. Please be careful. Or be careful. That was strictly necessary, but uh, maybe it is. It does go back up. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, fine. <laughs> I'll do it the right way, I guess. Or maybe this isn't the right one. Please don't hurt me. Whatever is up here. Okay. Spiders. Spiders are better than the uh, things that pop out of the ground. Okay, there's Angry Monkey. He's on high alert. He's got a explosives backpack. And uh, it's not going to end well. Also, the loading zone is a long ways away from here. My fear is great. Okay, so he's probably wearing red pants, not orange pants. Which explains the... Uh, Male making the explanation. Not male person, male letters. Hi! Yeah, that's right. Just stare at the uh, 
the time net that's standing mysteriously on the floor. There's certainly not somebody here. This hurts my thumbs. Yep, I've been spotted. Ah, oh, that's bad. Got him! Ooh, we're okay. I missed the Spectre coin, though. That's okay, though. We... I'd rather get the monkeys. We can go back and get the Spectre coins. Hundred percent. Ah, I pressed the button before she told me I did great. Save. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 Hey, the next one is Dexter. In Dexter's laboratory. <laughs> yes, continue. To have the race car for at least one of the ones in Dexter. Dexter's Island. Ooh, five monkeys, two Spectre coins. Here's the one where he's on the boat. Night. <laughs> and there's a Spectre coin on the boat, too. Yeah. Hi, Dexter. Ah, oh, there's two birds. I wish I could break these so uh, the monkeys couldn't get them. Um, yeah, we'll just bonk. 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 Hey, bud. Get got. Yay, the turtle! That's the intended strat. For getting on the boat. We hit you right on the turtle. Oh, that's right, because if I get very close to the boat, the current brings me back in. Take me to the boat, turtle. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just gonna wait here until you, uh... It's become clear, monkeys in blue pants are very fast rudders. Catch them before they get away. You know, I'm gonna be honest, Spectre wasn't terribly bright, even as smart as his helmet made him. He wasn't very bright to uh, color coordinate his monkeys. I mean, because just like that, we're figuring out what the, uh, what the story is on him. Now, it'd kind of be a shame to, uh, not take this turtle for his full, uh, circle here. Hmm. Thanks for the ride, turtle. All right. We got three more monkeys to go.
Open up, Dexter. Wow, that's terrifying. And this is gross in here. First thing we're gonna have to go deal with is the monkey in here, and I'm not gonna avoid splashing down. <laughs> this is so disgusting. <laughs> okay. Um, Monkey, are you ready to, uh, leave? Because <laughs> even if you're not, you really don't have much of a choice. I figured he'd come to the net eventually. <laughs> yeah, let's put that uh, slingshot back on here because there's some. Oh, actually, first. Let's see if there's anybody in this. Nobody in this loading zone. So, and nobody in the next loading zone. So that's unfortunate. However, I think that does. Uh, I guess I probably should go this way, so I can hit the... Yeah, those things. The weird rainbow things. It's like an antibody or something. Or maybe it's a... It's a fly. So annoying to try and hit. Yeah. Maybe more of them over here. way and see we'll leave the slingshot on okay. nothing to slingshot so we'll do this and we'll check and see if there's okay so one of our last two monkeys is through this way so but it's all the way through so we might as well Complicated maze inside Dexter's body. Well, yeah. Oh, there's the Spectre Gun. Easy. That's the only one that's left? Yes. And that will be enough to unlock the last uh, um, minigame thing. So that's cool. What have we got in here? We've got some things we need to pop. So otherwise they'll run into us while we're swimming. <laughs> it's like you could see where I was hitting or at least where I was trying to hit. Got it. Hi -ya. 
Oh, there's a there's a bottom to this. Okay. That makes things a little easier. Ooh, that worm thing was still gross. So they've got to be this way, or at least one of them has to be this way, right? <laughs> He's a four-star alert. Okay, and that's the only one I'm seeing, so... Uh, we probably should put this on. Okay. I'm sorry, I am not, uh, I'm not using the tube if I don't have to. Lots of gadget switching in the uh, I'll run through. And the next one's right outside, so. Easy enough. And then after this level, we'll check out that, uh, that final minigame. Well, right outside, so to speak. The walls are moving and it's gross. Uh, by a wall I have to punch down. Okay. Okay. 
Oh yeah, it's pretty straightforward. It's like a mini boss. Oh, there's no punching involved. Yes, there is punching involved, but it's uh, punching from down here. Punch, 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 punch. Oh, he dropped a monkey. <laughs> it looked like I was doing that monkey a favor, to be totally honest. He seemed rather uh, stuck in that uh, digestive tube of Dexter. <laughs> And that one we actually 100%ed. Because we got all the Spectre Coins. There it is. The final... I don't know. I'm I'm not... I thought for sure, because I couldn't, I couldn't remember what that last one was. I thought for sure as soon as I unlocked it and saw kind of a preview of it. Like on that, that front screen there. That... The memory of it would just come rushing back, but also that's a lot of a uh, lot of Spectre coins that we may not have caught or collected when when we played this before. Sixty-five percent continued. Ouch. Um, that's not where I want to go. I want to go in here, I think. Yes. Galaxy Monkey. I don't know. I really don't. It's not, uh, it's not ringing a bell. I think I remember it, um, but at the very least, it's a... Yep, yeah, I do. I do. I remember this. Because there's, like, boss levels, and yeah. Yep. Yeah. This is... This is good. I like it. Oh, and it was two-player, too. That's really cool. Okay. And the pig has to swell to, to break it. Oh yes, this is awesome. I love this this game style. There was a there's a game back when I was ooh, back in school that uh, it was called Deimos Rising, and it was it was kind of like this except you were you weren't a spaceship you were a a regular ship, and basically it was a uh, it was it was very similar game format. Power up, good. Honestly, some of the power ups almost feel detrimental. Can't go further than three. This guy, I remember the like tiki head being a pain. Three of them. Yep, can't go higher than three power ups. Oh, 
Ah, I missed the 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 ball. <laughs> that was almost a bad decision. Swinging up around the top. The tiki head, if I remember right, of course, obviously I haven't let it stay on screen long enough. Um, if I remember right, the tiki head was, uh, it follows you around the screen, and you can't, uh... Didn't get it. Um, it's not, it's not just as simple as dodging it. Because it will actually, like, actively chase you on the screen. This is awesome. All four sides, ah, exploded. And all my power-ups are gone, which is really bad at this point in the game. Thanks, one. Especially with this many pigs. There's my third power up. Got the tiki guy. There we go. I don't know if it's actually a tiki. No, I ran into the pig. Good, at least there's a power up. That'll help. Oh no. <laughs> 40,000 for a first, first attempt. Yeah, let's go again. That was almost bad. No, drove right into the pig. And honestly, I don't know how to, if there's a way to get extra lives. If there's like a certain number of points you get when you get extra lives, or if, if you just can't get extra lives. It'd be kind of strange to not be able to get extra lives. On a game like this, but... Once you kind of figure out the wave pattern, it goes a lot smoother. Oh, I think that was a double TP. Ah! Pig inflated on me and popped me. They get a lot more aggressive, and. <laughs> there we go.
That was a double TP on the right side on that one. Oh, now we've got the big rolly things in, in that sequence. 31, this is the Tiki. Pigs. I did that in a different order and it was almost bad. Stay away from me, pig. I see they've added another pig to the top on those style sequences. Got it. Pinkies. Pigs. Pigs from all corners. Bottom. Picked up another rolly thing on that one. Okay. Spooky. Oof, almost drove into the pig there. Nope. Or flu, I guess it's a, it's a spaceship. Although, you know, I, I've talked about wanting to fly the, the monkey spaceships from in the game, so here we are, I guess. Not one of them. Oh, there's so many things loading in. <laughs> Peekies. Okay, lots more pigs on the left. Good. So many pigs. Uh, pigs from all over. Okay. No! That was awesome. 163,000. That was crazy. Yes. Okay, I, I really do... I do remember that game a lot. That one was super fun. I bet it's even better with, with two players. Because then you've got... Because you've got twice the ships, and... That's like playing the old uh, Lethal Enforcers 2 game on Sega. Which was actually... It was one of the early games to port from a... Um, arcade game over to home console it actually had two light guns you could use because it was a it was an old uh, western like shooter style game uh, it had two light guns so you could load up player one and player two well and i've actually i've, I've finally got the the light guns a while back so i've got the set uh, the player two one was hard to find anyway <laughs> to, to stay on the the tangent i was going on um, you'd load up two players even if you were playing by yourself and then you'd use both controllers and you'd have twice the amount of, uh, of shots and twice the kind of the screen coverage plus you sort of had twice the lives because any impact from people that were attacking you on one side of the screen took the lives from that player and then any impact on the left side of the screen did that player um, so it was split so the right side of the screen wouldn't affect the left side players points or the life um, points until that player gamed over so that was a that was a pretty crazy thing that uh, we do and I mean Deimos Rising too, a similar style game like that um, where you're a ship and you're uh, shooting stuff and whatever um, you could map in the in the because it was on PC. Well, on Mac actually, I never played it on PC. You could map the controls to the same 
buttons for both players, and then you load up as two-player game, and you just move the ships over to one side so they stacked on top of each other, and then you could control them both the same, and all the weapons did the same thing, and it was it wasn't quite as handy as the the dual controllers in Lethal Enforcers, but it was. It was pretty helpful because in every shot you're getting twice the damage because you're hitting them with twice the 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 bullets and everything. So that is quite the talent there, Spike. So anyway, um, that was uh, pretty cool. Let's go ahead and save that so my score gets saved, um, and then I think we'll wrap up here for the day. That was insane, though, that... <laughs> Alrighty, so that's going to wrap it up for Flashback Fridays this week. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, those of you watching after the stream, I do want to remind you that we do stream these videos live over on Twitch. That's twitch.tv slash unexpectedlyrandom. Uh, the link's scrolling up above if you need spelling. Um, we are here for Flashback Fridays every Friday at 7 p.m. Central Time. So make sure you follow us on Twitch so we can send you a notification when we go live. Um, we are also live Monday through Thursday at 7 p.m. and on Saturday and Sunday at 4 p.m. So check us out sometime and make sure you follow us over on Facebook and Instagram as well so we can keep you updated if there's a change to the streaming schedule. Um, that schedule is posted on Twitch and I'll get that updated here um, today so it's as up to date, uh, well, as of this recording as up-to-date up to date as it can be. Um, you know, it starts off really good doing these outros, and then I get to get to babbling about uh, things, and, and then I make it sound strange. So, um, hey, it's random, though. So. That is... Uh, we also have a TikTok and a Twitter. If you're on the... Oh, it's the dinosaur level. Um, we also have a TikTok and a Twitter, if you're on those platforms and wish to follow us. That would be super cool. Um, it's kind of neat, these demos. It reminds me a lot of the old uh, um, arcades. Because, of course, the arcade, it had the press start menu and uh, you'd put your, your coins and stuff in or whatever. But it had to do this sequence where it did the demo. Uh, that way it could just sit there and, and, and play through it. So... This is kind of neat because it gives you an idea of, of where some of the stuff is and how to catch them. So, anyway, back to back to outroing here. Um, we also have a TikTok and Twitter if you're on those platforms and wish to follow us. That'd be cool. And let's see. Oh, yeah. The, probably the, the, the most important part at this point. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're enjoying Flashback Fridays and want to help out the channel, that is... The simplest way that you can uh, contribute at this point, and uh, it's great because every time I get a notification that somebody's subscribed, it uh, it's it's super awesome. I get quite excited because every single one of you are amazing, and uh, you're making a dream come true. So that's uh, your 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 fuzzy feeling for the day. <laughs> Don't know. Uh, anyway, that's everything I have for today. I will quit uh, quit rambling on, and we will get uh, moving out. So it's going to break the audio because of how things are, but that is just what we've got. So we will catch you in the next one. Until then, stay random. It's Flashback Fridays on Unexpectedly Random Live. It's Flashback Fridays on Unexpectedly Random Live. Well, I guess we got our technical difficulties after all. <laughs> See you next time. Stay random.